Most operating systems have a graphical application you can use to partition a drive, but that's not always going to be the case, especially when it comes to managing Linux servers. I was really intimidated the first time I sat down to use the command line to partition a disk, not only because I'd never done it before, but because of all the options for partitioning your, your, your disk. And also there was quite a few different uh, applications you could use and everybody was giving me different recommendations. So I was like, which one is the best? You know, and it really, every, every, every different application is going to, is going to have its merit. So I'm not here to debate that. I'm just going to, I'm going to show you um, one of the, the utilities that most modern Linux distributions have built in to the uh, to the distribution, which is um, going to make things simple for you. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to partition a drive using the Linux command line utility fdisk. So stick with me. I've got a favorite ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Make sure you give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it, let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to make sure you catch the examples. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna switch over to the desktop here. We're gonna run the E. What is command on FDisk? And we can see here that FDisk is a, um, it's a utility that's going to be used to manipulate the partition table of a drive. Um, it's also a dialogue driven utility, which means that depending on what out, what input you put in, it'll change your output. And then um, if you're not familiar with what the what is command, go check out my in one command video, I believe it is covering what is command that'll go ahead and cover that for you. Just a summary of it, though, is it tell it gives you a just a one liner of describing what a command does. Pretty cool. Now, the next command that we want to go ahead and run is we want to run sudo fdisk whoa f disk tack l and with the with the f disk tack l um, command is it's going to list all the partitions on your system um, you also have the option of adding a specific drive to f disk tack, tack l let me actually just pull up the one where did it go this one right here this is actually going to be the one that's going to be of interest to us today is dev SDA. So let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and run the same thing, but let's run it with dev SDA. There we go. And it hasn't been partitioned yet, so it doesn't really give us a whole lot of information about it. Um, the um, this this uh, this out this command, the FDIS tech L, uh, if you don't select any device, it's going to print the partition tables for all of the devices listed in the proc partitions document. Now, that, let me just actually show that to you. We're going to do sudo cat proc partitions. Cool. And it's got all of those listed right here. So cool, right? All right. So let's go ahead and actually do a sudo fdisk dev sda. We're going to go ahead and go into the utility. And the first thing that you notice here is that it, it says change will remain in effect in memory until the, you decide to write them. Be careful before using the write command. Write command is very dangerous. Um, it's also really awesome because it's, you know, it writes changes. Now we can see here automatically in the prompt it says hit M for help, which is what we're going to do here because we want to go through some of these different options that you can input to make things happen inside of, inside of FDisk. So let's go ahead and go down here so of course you can also you can always just do the you can always do the m the m option to bring up the help menu now we have the n option which is going to add a new partition uh, i'm sorry a new partition uh, yeah a new partition and then we have the d the lowercase d which is going to delete our partition the P is going to print the partition table so it'll show you what it looks like and then i uh the I option will print information about a partition. The G command, which is down here, will create a new empty GPT partition. And then the lowercase O will create an empty DOS or what is also known as an MBR or master boot record partition table. Now, if you're not familiar with what those are, go check out the last video in the series and it'll break it down for you. And then the last thing that we want to go over here is going to be the W for write table to disk and exit. So that's what's going to make the changes final. So make sure you are deadly, absolutely, positively, 1000% sure that everything is correct before hitting write because changes, are, once they're made, they're made. You cannot go back. So make sure you make sure you um, know what you, make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and actually getting into creating a partition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let's just clear this a bit. Oops, oh, it doesn't let us do that here. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and put an N for new. And actually, no, no, actually, no, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a GPT partition. So let's go ahead and put in, let's go ahead and put in that lowercase g. All right, there you go. I previously had a different part, it had a previous signature on there for DOS, which you probably noticed if you're paying really close attention in the F to hack L options uh, command. But all this is really saying is like, hey, you got this thing on here, but doing this, we're gonna override it. So it's just letting you know. All right, so that's, we're gonna go ahead and do a GPT one. And then now let's go ahead and do an N. And you got two options here. You can manually put in the number or you can use the default of one. If you wanna use the default for any of these options, you can always just hit enter uh, or just type in the number. We're gonna go ahead and hit the defaults pretty much for everything. All right, and the first sector is gonna be where the actual, uh, where the partition will start. Uh, you can enter any specific spot you wanna use if you wanna really granularly plan it out and lay it out. Um, or you can accept the default. I typically just accept the default. And the last sector is going to is going to go is going to say how far this partition is going to go. So you can do this, you know, one of two ways. You can do it, um, you can do it by the number of sectors, or you can do it by the. Uh, oh, actually, you can do one of three ways. You can do it by the number of sectors. You can do it by the size, or you can just use the default and go all the way to the the very very end. And keep in mind, you could also do that with the size as well, if you wanted to. And same thing with the sectors. You could go all the way to the end um, that way as well. But what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just, you know, partition it out by size. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a plus and then we're going to go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put 25 G. All right. All right. There you go. See, it says created a new partition, uh, one of type Linux file system and of size 25 gigabytes. Pretty cool, right? So that's a GPT partition. Now they're not, um, they're not, um, there's not a significant difference doing doing this between GPT and DOS partitions, but I still do want to show you what what each of them looks like so that you at least have some experience with doing this. So let's go ahead and hit the W command for right because we've got our partition there. Perfect. All right. Now if we run F disk, oh, we got to put a sudo in there, sudo. And anytime you're running uh, F disk, you got to run it either root or sudo. To do F disk, hack L, and then we're gonna do a dev SDA. Cool. And now we can actually see that one, this disk label has changed. This disk label has changed. And then also, right here, you've got the you've got the partition. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and go back into F disk. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and delete the partition. So deleting is really easy. You just literally just hit the D. And it says one partition deleted. If you had more than one, um, it, you could select which one you want to delete and all that good stuff. But we only have one here, so we are we don't need to worry about doing that. And now that we've deleted it, you literally just hit W for right. And if we go back and run the FDIS-TACL, we can see that that partition is now gone. Whoa, right? Pretty awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do an example of the, M we're gonna do an MBR primary as well as an MBR extended. So if you're, again, if you're not familiar with these, go check out the last video in the, um, before this one, that'll explain all of this to you. Now, let's go ahead and go back into FDisk. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit lowercase O for a DOS one. And it says right here, device contains GPT signature and will be removed just like it did when we did it the other way. So that's totally fine because we know exactly what we're doing here. Awesome. So let's go ahead and hit the N for new. And let's go ahead and create a. Um, let's go ahead and start with the. Let's go ahead and start with the extended. All right. Now, keep in mind, like for the prime like between primary and extended, you can only do a maximum of four between them. But then with the extended, it actually allows you to do up to, I think it's like 20, it's 23 logical partitions. So yeah, you can, you can get a total up to 26 when it comes to, uh, when it comes to DOS, but keep, keep, uh, go back to the previous video and I kind of cover that. I cover that in more detail. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and accept the default here. 
Uh, we're going to take that one right here. And we're going to say OK, but we're going to go ahead and do this one a little bit different. We're going to give this one plus 100 G for 100 gigabytes. Perfect. And it has created the extended partition. All right. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and create some. Let's go ahead and create some uh, logical partitions within the extended partition. All right. See, and there we go. And we can go and we'll just do L here. So it's N and L. Now we're going to do this. We're going to start that there. And then let's go ahead and give it uh, 50 gigs. All right, perfect. Now, the next thing that we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create just a regular primary partition. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do N and then we're going to do P. We're going to hit, we're going to, we're okay with two because that's the next, that's the next number in, in the, the line. We're going to go ahead and start there. That's totally fine. And where do we want to end up? Let's just go ahead and do plus 25 gigs. Cool. All right. Now get a look at the partition table. And there we go. This is actually what we're going to be setting up here is we're going to be setting up the um, SDA one, SDA two and SDA five. All right. And the logical partitions will start at five. All right, cool. So now and oh, one more other thing. Let's just go ahead and look at the eye. And it's going to like when you ask for I, it's going to ask you like it's going to give you information on a specific partition. So um, let's go ahead and go with just one. And it gives us more information right here. Pretty cool, right? Now, the last thing that we got to go ahead and do is hit the W. Awesome. Yep, there we go. And let's go ahead and run the let's go ahead and run the F disk L on dev SDA. And ooh, awesome. Yeah, we see we got the same information here that we got right before we wrote it. So pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and go back into FDisk. Let's go ahead and delete everything. So the cool thing is, is that it's pretty easy to delete. Like as you saw last time, we have multiple this time. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's, we're going to hit D and C. It gives us the options here. Do you want to delete one, two, or five? Um, and it's going to say default is five. So we're going to be okay with that because we're going to delete everything here. We're going to do this, two, and delete that. We delete that one as well. And I think we got them all. And let's do a P. We can see that those are all gone. Hit a W. F disk tack L dev SDA and bada bing bada boom. There it is, folks. And they have been removed. Awesome. So after using F disk a few times, it honestly feels uh, it's easier to create a partition uh, this way. The the this only partitions the drive does not add a file system to the partition. This will be the subject of my next video. So make sure you're subscribed for that one. Uh, in my last video, I explained again what a partition table it was and the difference between MBR and GPT partitions. So go check that one out. If you have seen it already, go check out this other video. Go check out this other video instead. Lastly, thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.